But um, let's go over here and reveal this real quick to just show something. A chest. They give us a Psy Crystal. Yeah, anything that looks uh, conspicuous, use Reveal on. Most of the time, you will find something. It is very handy. So, uh, maybe we should chat with the mayor or just sneak around here. Hello. No one is allowed beyond this point. Don't even think about it. Fine. What do you got to say? The mayor said no one goes through, and I mean to make sure no one goes through. Well, even his mind is straightforward. I guess we can't, um, use our Jedi mind tricks on him. Anything here? Nope. How about this one? 32 coins, yay! And can we go talk to the mayor? Listen, you look like an okay guy, and I'd love to let you through, but I just can't. I mean, if I let you in, then I'd have to let everyone in, right? I'm sorry, but it wouldn't be fair. Honestly, that's the first guard that's actually made any sense, or has at least been level-headed. Man, this town keeps getting better and better. Competent guards, a useless shop. Oh my god, it's like a real city! And I believe over here is a potion. I think it's, um... It's not mine, we uh, One of these has a potion, doesn't it? Yeah, see, that one does right there, but we can't get that right now. We can later, because over time this does dry up and improve. The only boat spared by the tidal wave is that newfangled ship that catches wind and sail. The only thing is, the mast that holds up the sail got snapped apart. Well, let's go take a look at the ship. Well, not here, up here. Anything here? Nope. How about here? Ooh, something right here. Smoke bomb! Useless! It's... it's no use. The mast just won't budge, no matter how many people we get to help us. We're gonna have to get all this junk off the mast first. If we could just get some decent footing, we could have this thing clear in no time. There's more to it than that, though. We still have to do something about that rope over there. Untangling that will be a piece of cake once we get a boat we can use. Oh yeah, a piece of cake, except for that huge rock over there! Oh yeah, the rock. How are we supposed to get the mast out under that huge thing? There's no way we're gonna move it by ourselves. Well, either way, we can't do anything until Zack finishes the canoe. Quite right they are. Quite right they are. If you haven't guessed it by now, these are the pirates. And we can't exactly work on the ship because they're in our way, so let's uh, go take a look inside then. Anything in here? Nope. Except that flower pot is special. Whoa. How about here? Nope. The mayor of Madra here? You're certain? How did he know we came to Alhafra? He knew we needed a ship, and he knew we went east. Seems pretty easy to me. Uh, well, yeah. When you put it that way, it does make sense. He was looking to find the mayor of Alhafra. He must be hoping the mayor will tell him where we are. He'll probably tell the Alhafrins we're pirates too, huh? Pirates, that seems a little unfair. What do you mean? We are pirates, aren't we? I mean, we've taken all sorts of stuff that didn't belong to us. That's only because everyone in Champa would starve otherwise. We don't have any choice. <laughs> ah. And even then, it's never a lot. What's not? 
The stuff we take. We never take too much from any one town. Yeah, I guess not. I mean, you have to be moderate about stealing. If you steal $1,000 from one town, you can't steal 10000 from the other. You gotta keep it sparse, man. Make them all lose the same amount, so they don't get wise. And why do you think that is? Uh, why? Because you never can tell how these wealthy towns will react. It's too risky, right? Heh. <laughs> hey, yeah. Which is why we didn't steal anything from Alhafra. Right. That's why we avoid the risky towns and just take what we need from other towns. See? That's why you're our captain, Briggs. You've got brains coming out your ears. Huh. <laughs> There's nothing brainy about that. Oh, Jenna, you dumbass. Did you hear that? It sounded like a girl. Who's there? What do you think you're doing? Don't you know that someone has been falsely imprisoned for your crimes? Er, what's your point? You have to come with us and attest to that man's innocence. And why would I want to do something like that? Oh, -ho, I was hoping we could avoid any ugliness, but you leave us no choice. We'll bring you in against your will if we must, but either way, you're coming with us. Isn't that right, Felix? Hell yeah. Good for you. Let's teach these guys a lesson. You don't stand a chance. We're hardened criminal types. We eat punks like you for breakfast. Watch yourselves. You self-righteous little brats. You'll be the ones to learn. Or, you're the ones with a lesson to learn. And it's boss time! It's Briggs and Sea Fighter! I love this boss battle thing. It's good. Alright, uh, well, we're gonna start off with um, bolstering the defense and summoning the reed. And I suppose we should uh, numb the foe with a lightning strike. Maybe we can stun this guy. Yeah, because if we raise our defense, they'll never be able to hurt us. Forty-five, fifty-two. Wow. That's not a lot of damage. Oh, they're defending. Oh, he's the smoke bomb. Balls. Well, let's use um Echo then. Attack with a double strike. And let's uh use impair. Actually no, let's um I don't know what I want to use. Let's just Let's just use beam, why not? And you can uh restore PP, the PP you just used. <laughs> bam bam. Hunter damage. Pew. And he calls for backup. Echo cut, one. Fog is set. So let's um summon. Ramses. And uh, let's, uh, what do we, what can we do? We can uh, do protect. Let's raise our defense. And let's heal Jenna. So next time we can use a new summon. Bam. One's dead. Yeah, that's why you want to ignore the sea fighters, because he'll just summon more of them. See? Absolutely pointless to fight them. Just take down breaks and take them after. My first time in this game, this fight owned me. I think it was because I was under level, but yeah, it's not that bad if you're at a decent level. So let's use Ragnarok on him. Um, I guess we'll just use Mad Blast. And then let's summon... Prosne, or Procne. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's watch. Bam! 100, 227, 106. Get owned! And look at that, 60 wind power. Let's use Ragnarok. 100 damage. Mad Blast, boom! 43, 52, 44. 
and one's dead again. But of course he just calls back up, wastes his turn. So huzzah! Let's use another Ragnarok, Cutting Edge, and Storm Ray. And a Ragnarok! Yeah! 108. Cutting Edge. Boom! 97. And he's dead. You felled Briggs. So for now, let's just, um, melee this guy till he dies. Bam. Bam. And he's dead. See? Easy, boss. 689 experience, 1411 coins, a vial, and that's it. Well, that takes care of that. And I'm willing to bet everyone Briggs has harshed or has been harassing will be quite happy to hear it. This should set everyone in Indra at ease. They all seem to fear the pirate Briggs. We lost. Even pirates have honor. I'll go quietly. I won't make a scene just because I lost. Go on, hand us over to Madra or Alhafra or whoever. Good. First off, you can tell that Madrans or the Madrans that the man called Pierce is innocent. Fine. So what? I just have to say that Pierce isn't one of my men. Sure. That's right. You tell the Ma Madrans that, and they can release the prisoner. We've secured Briggs. Vow. We should take him to the Madrans. Wait. Can't you find it in your hearts to forgive Briggs and his men? And who are you? My name is Chaucha. I am Briggs' wife. So you're a pirate too. No, Chaucha hasn't done a thing. Let her be. I know Briggs and his men have caused some great trouble with their pri or piracy. And I know their crimes cannot be ignored. If you know all that, then how can you just ask to forgive him? The only reason Briggs became a pirate was to help the people of Champa. We Champa are a sea-fearing folk. Our livelihood depends entirely upon the sea, or it's not sea-fearing, sea-faring. But in recent years, the sea has changed. We cannot live the life we once could. The oceans have warmed, and the fish have vanished from our waters. The soil in Champa is rocky and barren. No crops can be grown there. <laughs> no crops? So you have no grains? No meat? It sounds like life in Champa is hard. It's not hard! It's unbearable! Our children can't eat! Our village is dying! These men promised to return with food. Enough for all our people, but when they found more, or blah, 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 but they found none. So you became pirates, thieves. We don't know where Champa is. It sits in the southeast corner of Angara. Southeast Angara isn't that near uh, Zian and Lama Temple? You have a good memory. If you were. To head south through the mountains, you'd find it. That's so far away. Well, yeah. You think we could be successful pirates so close to home? If they raided any towns near Champa, it'd be obvious to all who the attackers were. And no one back home could forgive me if they knew, not even my grandmother. But where did this leave us? Are we simply to accept your looting here in Indra? I'm shocked, I tell you, shocked! What's so shocking? It looks like they really are pirates, just like you said. Mr. Mayor, I'm appalled that you cannot take our word for it. You douchebag. He probably wouldn't even have believed that we had come from Madra if the mayor had come or hadn't come. Am I still supposed to believe the accusations of a complete stranger? 
Is this your position, Mayor? How can I be expected to believe a tidal wave could wash Indra into Ocinia? Or that a group of men could walk on foot from Madra all the way to Al Hafra? Well, just because you're fat and a douchebag doesn't mean you should shoot down anything we say. It sounds to me like you've forgotten about us altogether. I'm not sure you remember the last time we met, do you? We met when I was just a child, but it must have been more than ten years ago now. 